Did you know that these DV pre-made layouts are almost useless if you use them by themselves? Ideally, you want a situation where these websites you're going to be creating with these DV pre-made layouts are actually solving a problem or adding functionality. In this video, I want to show you how to correctly use these DV pre-made layouts. So over here, I have DV installed. I haven't done any designs. So let's head over and start creating our layouts. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to pages and then click on add new. So we're going to give this page a name. I'm just going to call this page booking because the example I'm giving you today is a booking Hey, now while this is loading up, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Divi Jumpstart course, a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so we're here now. Uh, all I have to do now is to click on start building and we are going straight to the pre-made layouts and here they are. I'm going to click on browse layouts. And as you can see, we have a ton of beautiful designs. So what we're going to do now is to choose a layout. So we're going to come over here to, uh, let's say, fashion and beauty. And here we have the barbershop. So we're going to use this one here because we want to add a booking functionality to this website. Now, we also have some of these. We have hair and beauty salon. We can also use this one as well. So people can book uh, their spots here to get a haircut or hairstyles. We can, I mean, we can use quite a few here. So I'm going to come over here to a Divi Barbershop as my example here. Let's go with a landing page. And here we are. I'm going to say use this layout. So regarding presets, I'm just going to say import. So it's time now to create my booking calendar. And the plugin I'm using for this is called Fluent Booking. I have a link to that in the video description below. And there's a huge discount as well. All right. So I'm going to come over here to Fluent Booking. I'm going to hover over here. And then I'm going to go to my calendars. So this is where I'm going to create a brand new calendar. So the first thing you want to do is to come over here to the top and click on add new host. So since I'm the only one using this website, this is the name that appears. So I'm going to go ahead and select that as my as uh, me as the host. And then I'm going to come over here to one to one. So I'm going to call this haircut or hairstyle. For the duration, I'm just going to add one hour. But of course, you can also add custom Next, on the description here, I'm just going to paste. And then over here on the location, since this is not an online meeting, this is going to be a meeting where someone has to come to the actually barbershop. So I'm going to go ahead and say in person. So I'm going to add. You want to select your time zone as well. So I'm going to go in here. And you know what? I'll just leave this as it is here. And then click on continue. So these are the times which you can add as available. So let's say you don't work on Fridays. I can just exclude Fridays from here. And then I can also adjust the time. So I'm going to say 9 to 5. These are the times here. I'm going to go ahead now and click on continue. Now, what's really cool about Fluent Booking is we also have SMS notifications. Now, I haven't set this up uh, yet, but this is where you can go and configure it. So I'm going to open this in a new tab so I can just show you quickly how this works. So you need to have uh, this Twilio account uh, for this to work. Anyway, let's go back and let me show you the other settings. So here we have our schedule settings. So this is where you can go in and further adjust this if you want to. You can actually override any dates that you uh, want to override here by clicking on edit availability. So this is where you can go in and add a date override. So let's say on a specific date, you're not available. So let's say on the 22nd, you can go in and select that and then mark and it's un unavailable and then click on apply. So now that date has been excluded from the actual calendar. So now you just want to hit save changes. Next, we also have our email notifications here. You can go in and customize the booking confirmation and so on. All right. So let's say you want to take payments right away. You can, there's a way here you can add Stripe. So let's say for this calendar, I want to uh, add or enable payments. So I can just go ahead and add my payments here. So let's say this is $10. And then I'm going to say update settings. So now if we go back to the calendars, I can actually see it and I can go ahead and share it. So there's a few ways you can create a landing page. You can create add to blog. But for this example, I'm going to use this short code, which makes things very, very easy. So I've just clicked on that to copy it. Next, I'm going to come over here now to my booking page. I'm just going to come over here and add a new row, single column, search for my text module. And then I'm just going to paste it like that. Now, for this to look nice, I need to add a background to this. So I'm going to come over here to content, go to background and add white as my background color. Now, everything is close to the edge here. So I also need to go in and add some padding. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing and I'm going to add a padding of 4%. So I'm going to add all sides. 
And maybe I want to add some rounded corners. So let's add, all right, I want to go ahead and save. And then all I have to do now is to delete this top here. And all I'm left with is this one right here. So now let's save and let's take a look at our calendar on the front end of our website. All right, so let's take a look at this now. So when I scroll down, you can see here, we now have our booking. It has our description. The price is also there. And pretty much this is now a functional website. So let's go through this whole process. So let's say I want to book my haircut on the 21st. Now notice that we excluded the 22nd. So let's go ahead now and click on the 21st. And my time is going to be 12 p.m. I'm going to hit next. And this now is going to give me my payment options. But before I do that, I want to give a reason for this hair, uh, for um, the meeting. So I'm just going to say uh, haircut and then continue to payments. So you can see here the payment processor is loading. And all I have to do is to go in and add my card details here, postcode, pay now, and pretty much everything is good. So do you see now how we've just added functionality to a pre-made layout? This is, in my opinion, the best way to use these pre-made layouts. The design is done for you. So to make them functional, you need to choose plugins that add functionality to this. So as you can see now, there's a payment system, there's a booking system, and this was done by just adding a single plugin. Now, what you want to do after this is to add your images that match your brand, and also you may want to adjust this text and, and make it your own. So pretty much this is how you use this pre-made layout to make them more functional. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.